in for a rude awakening. You won't have to go chasing me around the ring. I'll meet him in the centre and we'll see who's left. I'm going to be at my best and I'm looking forward to putting on a good, solid show. A little bit of needle ahead of this one. Uh, Johnny, James DeGale has the potential to be exceptional. You've got to remember, he's 24 years old. His first professional fight was rather sticky. He didn't like the reception he got. He loved the fame more than the game. Now he's got very professional about his attitude and wants to fight, wants to be successful. And know he's now the hunted and everybody's watching him knows he, and know that he's a meal ticket. His opponent, Carl Dilks, um, has been winding the gale up a bit. He looks very, very focused, Jim. Yeah, well, I think this is the first opponent the Gale has faced who honestly believes that he can beat him. I don't think he's good enough to beat him, but I think he's good enough to really test him and ask a lot of questions. He's showing great form at the moment. He's unfortunate not to be a champion already. He's rated above the Gale. So he, he, he looks upon this as a huge opportunity, and he's going to go for it with both hands, I'm sure. The first of seven live fights coming your way. Sit back, enjoy the action. High definition here on Skybox Office HD. That's channel 752. Also available in standard definition on Skybox Office channel 7. 7 4 3. A kicking off the commentary, Adam Smith and Glenn McCrory after our MC, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for the first of our special attractions. Please welcome the boxers as they make their way to the ring. First, joining us to the red corner from Liverpool, please welcome Carl Dilks. So, back to back, wall to wall action in this Birmingham Bonanza. Begins with a clash that certainly lit up the press scene here all week. Here comes the hard working and tough Carl Dilks from Liverpool. Once upon a time, he was a goalkeeper at Anfield as a youngster but he swapped the gloves and chose a different sporting path. Good amateur career and a stint out in the army in Iraq. He's a tough man, he's amassed a good record, 14 wins in 16, and an argument that he really should be an unbeaten fighter. Just two controversial defeats. He's ready and he's decent, Glenn, too. He's more than decent, you know, he's shown plenty of bravado, he's talked the talk in this build up to the De Gale fight. He's got a great opportunity here to really wreck the plans of the golden boy of, of British boxing. And you know, he wants to do it. It's whether, when he gets in there and that bell rings, is the belief still going to be there? If it is, he could give De Gale a very tough fight. Chirpy character out of the ring. In he goes, Carl Dilts. Big night for him. Heavy underdog, but feels he will pull off the shot. And now, ladies and gentlemen, joining us to the blue corner, here is the 2008 Olympic gold medalist from London, James Chunky DeGale. Are we looking at a future star of British sport? The flash, articulate and appealing West London life wire James DeGale. He shot to fame with an Olympic golden display in Beijing. He's attracting the headlines with his sharp shooting southpaw skills and his big mouth. He says he's like Marmite, people will love him or hate him. I tell you what, Glenn, he might just have that essential X-Factor ingredient. Yeah, but I think he's got the potential and talent to be just about anything he wants to be. It's whether you know, he can keep his feet on the floor, he can believe in himself, and he can carry that on with the dedication that he needs. If he can get that, then he really can set this country alight in boxing. He changes his ring outfits every single time. He's had gold. Last time it was pink at Upton Park. This one is blue, and to the blue corner he will go. James Chunky de Gale. Okay, James. 
Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you and we welcome you to the LG Arena here at the National Exhibition Center at Birmingham, England as we have a big night of boxing coming your way. The Magnificent Seven, and it's all brought to you by Frank Warren in association with frankwarren.tv, live and exclusive on Sky Box Office. At this time, we present the first of our special attractions. It is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control. The steward in charge is Dave Roden. Introducing to you our three judges scoring this bout from ringside. From All Hallows, Richie Davies. From Wellingboro, John Keane. And from Birmingham, Terry O'Connor. Our third man in the ring, our referee in charge from Doncaster, Mr. Howard Foster. All right, fans, here we go. 10 rounds of boxing and eliminator for the British Super Middleweight Championship elimination bout. Introducing to you first on my left, he is finding out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with white and green trim. He weighed in at 11 stone, 13 pounds, eight ounces. His fine record stands at 14 wins, two losses, with five wins coming by way of knockout from Liverpool. Please welcome Carl Dynamite. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, really needing no introduction on these shores. Wearing blue trunks with gold trim, he weighed in at 12 stone even. Following his brilliant amateur career, he is undefeated in his campaign as a professional with a record of seven wins, no losses. Five wins coming by way of knockout. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 2008 Olympic gold medalist from Harleston, London, introducing the undefeated James Chucky DeGale. Timekeepers at the bell also keeping count of the knockdowns, Brian Heath and Harry Foxhall, and a referee in charge now to give instructions, Howard Foster. Okay, lads, folks, you're both in the dressing room. You both know what I expect. Keep it clean, break straight away when told, and both of you watch your heads. Good luck to you both, touch gloves. First of the Magnificent Seven, and first real test in the fledgling career of Halston's cool, charismatic, and classy James DeGale. An eliminator for the British super middleweight title, champion Paul Smith at ringside. DeGale needed two trips to the scales to make the 12-stone limit. No problem for Carl Diltz, who's fired up here. There's been verbals in the build-up. Is DeGale too clever and too good? Or can Diltz expose some weaknesses? Well, Diltz hasn't got to get overawed. He's got to keep to his game plan. Chin down, go to work. Take the fight to De Gale. De Gale from the orthodox stance, which is back to his preferred salpo. Right hand from Diltz. So nothing much wrong, Carl Diltz, in his pro career so far. Desperately unlucky not to win the Commonwealth title against Charles Adamu. But De Gale is slick and he's quick. That was low. Sometimes his style is a little bit too relaxed, though. Goes to sleep a little bit, De Gale. He's really got to keep his concentration here this evening. He's coming off a fifth-round victory over Sam Horton on the big Upton Park bill, with Kevin Mitchell and Michael Cassini stopping it. Here comes the hand speed of De Gale. The hooks from side to side, and he has more of a concentration on his face than he did that night against Horton. Well, it's getting a little bit nasty in the build-up. So he might have a, a point to prove to Gale. He says he's a level or two above Diltz, who's already got some blood by the nose. He says that Diltz doesn't throw enough punches. Here comes to Gale. It's a great start for the Olympic gold medalist. 
a little bit bemused Dilks at the moment with the, the movement, stepping side to side, changing stance from De Gale. Different angles and already the nose looks battered for Carl Dilks. He's walking into some of these shots in the first round. Can't cope with the razzle dazzle of De Gale at the moment. And he just has to keep his mind on the job, Dilks. It's getting a little bit tough already for him in there. With De Gale just stepping round, just making them look rather pedestrian in this round. Eyes already puffing up too. Especially that right one of Dilks. Looks out of his depth. Great burst from De Gale. And that's it. It's over in a round. Carl Dilks is stopped for the first time in his life. And James De Gale with a stunning start to this magnificent seven show. Eight out of eight. He stepped up and he blew away Carl Dilks in a ferocious storm. Yeah, it really was. A bit like a rabbit in the headlights, Dilks. De Gale poured on the pressure, and Dilks has got a cut on his eye and a damaged nose. So in just a short time, he certainly heard him in there. One or two boos ringing out, possibly because they might have felt the stoppage was a little premature. Was that right, though, of Howard Foster, one of our best referees? You know, I think if you ask Dilks now, I don't think he thought it was premature. I think he was getting caught with, with good shots. He didn't know where the punches were coming from. It was just a, a matter of levels, and James De Gale was from a different level. You know, he's destined to, to, for big things for me. I think he's very, very talented. Getting the shots off very early on. Seemed a little bit bemused, Dilks, with the, the switching of, of stance and the, the movement from De Gale. And it was good pressure. Didn't know where the punches were coming from. Good long left hand. Might have been the one that damaged the nose there. But he's getting his hands up, but he's a little bit bemused. And the cut to the eye, you can see there. And, you know, he wasn't really even warmed up yet, I don't think, DeGale. James DeGale predicted a sixth round stoppage. He needed less than a round. A blistering beginning to the big show here in Birmingham. And James DeGale is a man going places. Have no doubt about that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a time of 2 minutes 54 seconds in round number one. Our referee in charge, Howard Foster, stops the contest. The fighter in no condition to continue. He is the winner of the British Super Middleweight Eliminator. He is still undefeated, James Chunky. We're on to the glittering start of the night. It doesn't come much more impressive than that, does it? A one-round blowout victory for James DeGale. He'll have seen that. Matthew Hall, a European title.